in second perek Bobe Basra the Yachpur speaks about Hezek Shechenim in Mishnah Yud Marchikin es hachardal min hadvorim Rabbi Yoisei matir bechardal and the Gemara learns al hanizik leharchik es atzmoi that's the Shittas Rabbi Yoisei what is the Hezek over here we have a machloikes rishonim Rashi learns, not in the Mishnah, but in the Abyutches, there is a dispute over here between the owner of the bees and the owner of the mustard plantation. The owner of the bees says, your mustard are ruining my honey. The owner of the plantation says, your bees are eating my mustard. The Shittas HaChachomim is that the Balachartl has to move because the Chartl is ruining the, the bees that make the honey. The Chachomim hold, bees do not ruin the plantation, but the plantation ruins the honey, and the abiosis seems to hold that both are being ruining the other one, so both don't have to move. So Rashi explains how are they ruining each other. The bees eat the leaves of the chardal. Then they go to drink their own honey because the sharpness of the chardal makes them thirsty. So he loses now in the production of honey. But that's very difficult to understand because we know that bees do not eat the plantations and leaves of any flowers. Secondly, the nectar and the flowers is not sharp. All the bees do is just suck the nectar of the flowers and the enzymes inside the bees breaks the nectar into sugar and that produces the, the honey. So the Rashbo comes with a new approach and he wants to say that the sharpness of the chardal, of the mustard, ruins the teeth of the bees. So they may no longer be able to produce honey because they cannot bite into plants. But this is also very difficult to understand because bees do not have teeth and do not bite plants. So the Rambam and the Bartenura have a different approach to this, saying that actually the Metzius is totally differently and bees make honey from different plants and the honey from Mustard doesn't have a good taste. Not that the bees lose the teeth, not that the bees will drink up their own honey, just the honey that comes out from mustard plants is not a quality honey. It seems that every Mephodesh learned Pshat and the Gomorrah according to their understanding and discovery on the Teva of the bees that was discovered in their own times. But today we even know that the best honey comes from mustard plants which makes a window for us to explain this dispute. We have to understand today we know something that in the times of Chazal is not mentioned at all. And this is called pollination. There was a Din Torah about someone who was producing honey by bringing his bees next to a plantation. We know that bees make pollination. Bees are very good pollinators that makes the fruits grow bring pollen from flower to flower. Some flowers need the bees for pollination, and it's an industry today. People pay for bee pollination. At the same time, the bees make honey, and the field produces fruits. This is what we call zenheno vezenheno. Both have hano from each other. What happens now if the person who has the pardes plantation. He also has his own honeybees to produce honey and to make pollination. And the ratio is one colony per acre. If you make two colonies per acre, both would produce less honey. If somebody comes and brings his bees next to somebody else's plantation, his bees are going to use up the pollen and the nectar so that the production of honey is going to be reduced. Perhaps this is the case of the Mishnah. And that's why Rabbi Yoisi is Matir Bechardel. There is a big problem throughout the world called CCD. Bees colony collapse disorder. Bees are dying. Memelo, the crops are going down up to 50% of their production. The only country that has come with a breakthrough is Israel. Now they discover how to fix the problem and we can say a very interesting thing. On Rosh Hashanah, we dip the apple on the honey and we ask for a sweet year. Without honeybees, there's no apples. Apple trees are the biggest dependent on honeybees pollination. 
So we dip the apple in the honey and we mispallel that the Boyne Shalom should send Parnoso to the world. Eretz Israel is called Eretz Zovas Cholov Udevash. The country that will save the honey of the entire world. Shonatoivo Mesuko.